So all you need for this painting is, I have uh, burnt umber, and I have cat red, and I have cat yellow, and I have titanium white, and I also have some ultramarine blue. Uh, this one's Windsor blue, but uh, ultramarine blue is much better. So, and I also have some nice brushes for you to use, and this will make your painting a lot simpler. Okay, another dramatic sky. Let's see what we can do with this one. I am going to start with my background first, like we did before. Always start with your background. So I'm going to put some blue sky up here, and because of sunset, we'll do a blue sky up here, and then we'll add some yellow or maybe orange and then some red so I'll just see now how it goes as we go along so bear with me I got some nice dark blue ultramarine blue I'll start off in the corner here this can be a smooth now I'm always using these brushes all right this is um, could be a size eight like I said all the brands are different sizes but uh, you might want to this is 11 by 14 mixed media paper, so uh, might need a bigger brush, but I'm gonna use this one, but you can certainly adjust your brush, but make sure it's a synthetic. Chiseled edge is nice, but synthetic is usually chiseled edge anyway, okay? So I'm going to add some blue on the top. We'll get that right all over the top. I'm gonna add a bit of white to that. I didn't add, magic white this time because I want to show you the difference. I have to use a lot more paint now because it's drying as I'm painting, okay? So I'm having to continuously add white, continuously adding paint. But before, the magic white would let me spread it faster more and white. longer. But that's just white. I'm going to go underneath here, brighten it up. Go straight across if you want. I don't have any magic white on there, so now I gotta I gotta mist it more. It's better. See, because we're blending, you need to keep it wet. Alright. This is no magic white on this, but look, you still we're still doing good. Look. Once that dries up there though, you can't touch it. Not unless you put something over, but you don't want to lose all that nice dark blue that we have there, right? All right, so we got that part. Now let's go with some, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, let's go with some orange. Let's try some orange. I'm going to miss that again there now. So yellow and some red. Not even mixing it totally. Now where can I put that to? I think that should be nice down here. Mm. Oh, it's turning green. That's good, I don't mind that. I like all kinds of colors in my sky. I almost had some blue on my brush. I'm going to leave a bit of brightness there. Make some more yellow, red. Nice orangey color. I'm going to add a bit of burnt sienna to my color, to my orange, just to get a little more drama. <laughs> See? Some dark colors going on there now. Yellow, red, a little bit of burnt sienna, you know, just just to play with it, see what's going to happen. We don't know what's going to happen, do we? But we're just trying to, now because we don't have magic white on it, we got to sort of hurry. Hurry. I 
I'm going to get some white. Almost done. I'm going to add a little more red here. Need drama, you got to have like color. So, when you're doing this, just play with the colors yourself. Like, use the colors I'm using because I think that will work with these colors. But, um, just play with the way you're putting it on. See what you come up with. This is good for practice. Just use something cheap, you know, some paper, cardboard, or something like that, so you don't waste a canvas. All right. I, st I want it to be on the blue side. I'm gonna add a bit of white because I don't know what's going on there. Okay, that's better. A bit more blue. And what else? What else should I add? To that? A little burnt umber. I don't know. I'm kind of mixed, kind of making it up as I go along. Take note of the colors that I'm using, okay? Now, because I'm not using a magic white, I have to use lots of paint. I'm gonna try making some dark clouds here. Just somewhere. try. I don't know. Circles on the corner of your brush that helps, or tap, 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 push, push, push. You know, whatever. Whatever you can get to work for you. To me, that's a bit dark. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep working it. I want to see what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen, see? So I'm, I'm kind of just trying to come up with something that might work. I feel if I just keep moving my brush around, something magic will happen. <laughs> Do you ever feel that way? It's like, maybe the brush will come up with something. Well, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, look at this. Wow. I'm like it. Right, so Keep going up into there. It looks like it's starting to lighten up a little bit. Come down into this cloud here a little bit. Put some color over here, over here, and do your own thing now. Don't don't mind me. Just use me as a guide, but don't uh, don't have to be exactly like this. All right. Isn't it though? <laughs> That's so cool. Oh boy. It's too bad I got no magic boy now because I tell you that's all dry and I won't be able to do any I won't be able to blend it. I'm gonna try and blend something up a little bit. I'm gonna try my brush. My little happy brush. I'm gonna try, see what happens. Might be disasters, I don't know. Soften, soft. Oh nice, nice, nice. Now, if you do this and your paint is, you don't know, have it wet enough, or if it's really dry on you, then you're going to end up probably taking some of the paint off. Okay, like it's happening there now, so I'm not going to bother with that. What I'm going to do is... I'm trying this before I tell you about it. I just wet it. I wet it to see what would happen. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so much fun! I'm loving it. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. It's working. Cool. Yeah, so wet my brush. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, cool. Look at that. 
Now that's dirty. I don't want to put that down. Look at those crazy clouds. Look at those crazy, crazy clouds. Oh my God, they're fantastic. So I just cleaned that brush again and I'm drying it off my tissue. I got it back to a little bit, just like where I put in water. So it's pretty wet. It's not soaking wet, but it's wet enough to, it's wet enough to destroy my painting. <laughs> but it's not working down here because the paint is way too dry. Now the only way we can solve that, I kind of like it anyway, but the only way you can solve that is if you put more reds and oranges and everything on it, but I don't want to do that. Okay. See what happens is it starts to lift off the canvas because, but look at it. Look at that. It's amazing. I'm loving it. Now I got a big old two inch brush. Okay, I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to do too much because I, I like it. But I want to experiment. Kind of nice though, as it is. Yeah. I'm going to put a little bit of white and a little bit of white on my brush. And I'm going to try and brighten up the middle there a little bit. If I go this way so I don't destroy it. Just a little bit of white in here somewhere. It's great. This brush is really good for throwing off some some paint stagnated it's gone everywhere it's pretty, I dip my pretty, brush pretty, pretty. in uh, some white and um, on the corner of my chisel edge I might add a little tiny bit of blue to that so I really don't want it to be jumping out at me like a big old sore thumb so just soften it up with a little bit of blue you know soften up the color and maybe we can add little bits of clouds just touch and shake Touch and shake. Look. See, isn't that cool? Let's just try this. Kind of gives it a bit of brightness or something happening behind those dark clouds, right? Some floating clouds up here. Not too much. That gives it a little more. Darks against light seas is more dramatic, right? There we go. That brightens it up a bit more. Because like, like there's something going on behind those clouds. No? A little tiny bit more white on the corner of my brush. You know me, but I can't stop. A little bit of white. Wipe off my brush because you can see it's too much. No, it's there, we'll work with that. see the little bit of light shining out behind those clouds right which kind of gives it like oh yeah okay well there must be some nice sun you ever see a sky like that we've seen them before hey where you see clouds behind this big black cloud all right I think I'm gonna leave that because if I fool around too much I'm gonna end up making a mess right you can play with it do it the way you like all right that's good Today I have some really exciting news for you and um, what I want to tell you is that I have launched my Patreon page and my Patreon page I did it so that you guys could get early access to my new oh, upcoming a dollar paintings. Month you can have access to all my upcoming videos and they're full videos. Some are an hour, some are two hours and ad free and uh, we ha I have the patterns here for you and I have a lot of other perks too so I'll leave the link to my Patreon page down below and then you can go in and visit my page become my Patreon and then you'll have access to all my paintings. Mm -hmm.